hello students in the last fourth lecture we have got idea about types of sample isn't it and in that samples we have seen two main types of the sample random sampling and non random sampling now today we have to get idea about in this lecture in detail about the types of random sampling isn't it in the last lecture we have got idea about the types of sampling main two types were there are there random sampling and non random sampling now we have to get idea about what is random sampling and what are its type so random sampling and its type systematic random sampling there is a gap or interval between each selected unit in the sample isn't it systematic random sampling it is the one of the type of the random sampling and another type we know that the stratified random sampling so two types of there of this random sampling now we have to get idea about only systematic random sampling there is a gap or interval between each selected unit in the sample whenever there is a gap then we have to say that or interval between each selected unit in the sample then we have to say that is the systematic random sampling selection of units on a sample interval k starting from a determined point where k is equal to capital n divided by small n number the units on your frame from the 1 to n determine the point the random starts afterward every kit must be drawn until the total sample has been drawn what is this actually when we will take the example at that time we can understand about the what we have been learning so example is that suppose if a population is a 500 means 500 we have to say that individuals are there in a population in a group and when we want a sample of the 500 divided by 50 that is equal to 10 we will choose every 10th subject or object from the population keep in mind my friends what we have to do suppose 500 students are there and we want to take a average height of that one average height of that 500 students you have to make a one queue you have to make a one queue of a student as we have to say that first student will be having a height 5 or 4 we have to say that feet 4.1 4.2 like that increasing order we we'll have to ask the students to make a line so there are 500 student but what we have to do when we are interested to select sample of a 50 sample of a 50 50 cha sample aplyala kadaycha 500 mode 50 cha sample manje 50 students out of that 500 we want to take as a sample or select as a sample what we have to do 500 divided by the number of individuals in the sample or population divided by sample simple keep in mind population divided by sample that is equal to 10 is there now 10th students always we have to take out from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10th student then you have to start 1 2 3 4 5 like that and so 500 students we have to take so this is the procedure of selection of a systematic random sampling how systematic random sampling is there <laughs> now what are the merits 
of systematic random sampling once again i will tell to you my student sampling is the procedure of a selection of a sample from population isn't it and sampling there are the two main types of the sampling once again i will tell to you that is random sampling another one is a non random sampling again random sampling is divided into two types that is of a systematic random sampling and stratified random sampling so we have been learning systematic random sampling now we have to get idea about merits of the systematic random sampling so first merit is that the method is simple and convenient here the time and work is reduced in the sense 500 students are there in a one population we have taken only 10th fix from that one so 50 only students we have taken as a sample so there is we have reduced the time if a proper care is taken result will be accurate definitely this systematic random sampling is a we have to say that very accurate method but when we will take the proper care at the time of selection of a sample from the population it can be used in infinite population you know population is unlimited we have to say that in that one we can use the systematic random sampling method for the selection of sample no again not only the advantages are there but some disadvantages are there limitations of this are there systematic sampling may not represent the whole population may not represent whole population there is a chances of personal bias suppose one of the fellow has taken a 500 students as a sample out of uh, sorry 50 students as a sample out of 500 students isn't it i may can take the 100 i may get at the 100 or i may take only the five i may can take the only five students as a sample out of just i want to pass the time so that is that that is a bias one thing there is a, we are not having a proper methodology used to select the sample from the 500 students so there personal bias the investigator is possible because every investigator every investigator will take his own decisions so that is limitation of that systematic sampling now another most important second type of a random sampling that is of a stratified sampling strata means a layer third a population is divided into homogeneous mutually exclusive subgroups called as a strata third layer and the sample is selected from each one is a stratum keep in mind strata stratum a population is divided into a homogeneous one in the sense keep in mind samjha tumhala veg vegla color cha apan jar phadli ani tumhala sangitle ki yachatna sample tumhala nivdaycha ani average weight of the fruit you have to take out average weight of the fruit no tumhi kay kara ek tar it would be better tumhi eka size chi phale eka bazula thevala dusra size chi dusra bazula an mag pratyek size cha hechatna tharavik phale ghun tacha homogeneous tumhi kay kara group tayar kara je pahile homogeneous group tayar kele je saparchan peru isn't it like that one suppose lemon veg vegle tumhi thev tyachatle sampling kele la so this is the so that is a strata homogeneous scale strata and the sample is selected from the each strata mag pratyekatla ek ek ghun tyacha weight karal tumhi wazan karal ani wazan kela nanta ma average weight tum apo fruits total fruits you will be able to write so whenever such a type of a sampling is there when we have to make some strata when we have to make and single yala stratum manaycha isn't it manje jo group tumhi lemon cha kela that is a stratum homogeneous group त्याला आपण स्ट्रॅटम म्हणतोय आणि सगळे जे आहेत 
सगळे जे ग्रुप्स आहेत त्याला सगळ्यांना म्हणून स्ट्रॅटा स्ट्रॅटिफाईड मेथड ऑफ सिलेक्शन ऑफ अ सॅम्पल गोल इज टू गॅरंटी दॅट ऑल द ग्रुप्स इन द पॉप्युलेशन आर ॲडॅक्युटली रिप्रेझेंटेड ह्याच्यामध्ये मेन हेतू काय काय गोल आहे ह्या तुमच्या स्ट्रॅटिफाईड रॅन्डम सॅम्पलिंगमध्ये इज दॅट द ईच अँड एव्हरी शूड गेट रिप्रेझेंटेटेड प्रत्येक त्यातल्या पॉप्युलेशनमध्ये असणाऱ्या इंडिव्हिज्युअलचं रिप्रेझेंटेशन झालं पाहिजे सो दॅट इज द मेन वी हॅव टू से दॅट एम ऑफ एस स्ट्रॅटिफाईड रॅन्डम सॅम्पलिंग मेथड विद इन स्ट्रॅटम युनिफॉर्मिटी बिटवीन द स्ट्रॅटा डिफरन्सेस दॅट इज हेट्रोजिनियस कॅन बी स्ट्रॅटिफाय एनी व्हेरिएबल दॅट इज अवेलेबल फॉर एक्झाम्पल जेंडर मेल फिमेल एज्युकेशन लेवल ग्रॅज्युएट अँड ग्रॅज्युएट पोस्ट ग्रॅज्युएट्स म्हणजे कशाही पद्धतीने करू शकता समजा काही विद्यार्थी तुमच्या पुढे आले आणि इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक द ग्रुप्स जस्ट टू गाईड देम त्यांना गाईड करायचं तुम्हाला आणि तुम्हाला त्याचं ग्रुप करून मग गाईड करावं लागेल मग तुमच्याकडे ॲप्लिकेशन्स आलेले आहेत द स्टुडंट्स हॅव बीन एनरोल्ड फॉर दॅट कोर्स मे बी द अंडर ग्रॅज्युएट ग्रॅज्युएट पोस्ट ग्रॅज्युएट इज एन टेट सो यू लॅव टू मेक द ग्रुप ऑफ दॅट अँड अकॉर्डिंगली यू लॅव टू गाईड देम अकॉर्डिंगली यू लॅव टू गिव्ह आयडिया टू दॅम isn't it so that 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 is possible at the time of conducting the courses or at the time of collecting data in research uh, we uh, we have to only concentrate on the research point of view is there no example of 50 students example a sample of a 50 students to be drawn from the population consisting 800 student hey example apan ta bagya hey example mate sample kiti pahije aplyala 50 vidyarthyanche pahije कशातनं ड्रॉन करायचं आहे फॉर्म द पॉप्युलेशन ऑफ एट हंड्रेड स्टुडंट बिलॉंगिंग टू द टू इन्स्टिट्यूशन ए एन बी दोन इन्स्टिट्यूटची मुलं आहेत अँड नंबर ऑफ द स्टुडंट्स इन द डिस्ट्रीब्युशन ए इज ट्वेंटी अँड बी इज थ्री हंड्रेड इज एन टेट हाऊ विल यू ड्रॉ द सॅम्पल युज इन द प्रपोर्शन ऑफ लोकेशन इन द सेन्स यू लॅव टू कीप इन माइंड एव्हरी इन्स्टिट्यूट इन दॅर स्ट्रेंथ दे विल हॅव टू बी गेट रिप्रेझेंटेड इन द सॅम्पल सो सॅम्पल काढत असताना प्रत्येक दोन महाविद्यालयाला त्यांच्या स्ट्रेंथच्या प्रमाणामध्ये आपल्याला प्रतिनिधित्व द्यायचे आहे सॅम्पलमध्ये तर फॉर एक्झाम्पल मी सांगेन की दोन इन्स्टिट्यूट आपण घेतलेले आहेत ए आणि बी घेतलेली आहे इज एन टीट तर त्याच्यामध्ये सांगितले की एचे किती असले पाहिजेत साधारणपणे दोनशे असले पाहिजेत आणि बीचे असले किती पाहिजेत तर तीनशे असले पाहिजेत हाऊ यू विल ड्रॉ द सॅम्पल युजिंग द प्रपोर्शन लॉकेशन त्याच्यात दे आर आर द टू स्ट्रॅटा इन द केस विथ द साईज ऑफ एन वन इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड एन टू इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड टोटल पॉप्युलेशन इज एन इज इक्वल टू द एन टू दॅट इज इक्वल टू द फायव्ह हंड्रेड अँड सॅम्पल साईज इज अ फिफ्टी इफ एन वन अँड एन टू आर द सॅम्पल साईज एन वन एन एन टू काय सॅम्पल साईज आहे एन वन इज इक्वल टू एन डिवायडेड बाय एन ॲस टू एन वन इज इक्वल टू फायव्ह हंड्रेड डिवायडेड फिफ्टी डिवायडेड बाय फायव्ह हंड्रेड इंटू टू हंड्रेड दॅट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी इज एन टेट दॅट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी नाव मेरिट्स ऑफ स्ट्रॅटिफाईड सॅम्पलिंग मेरिट्स ऑफ स्ट्रॅटिफाईड सॅम्पलिंग काय त्याचे फायदे आहेत काय त्याचे ॲडव्हांटेजेस आहेत मोर रिप्रेझेंटेटिव्ह इट इन्शुअर्स द ग्रेटर ॲक्युरेसी easy to administer as the universe is the subdivided easy to administer greater geographic concentration reduces time expenses so easy to do all these things that's why there is a it will require a less time to select the sample by using the methodology that is stratified random sampling methodology when the original population is a badly skewed this method appropriate for the non homogeneous population may field results so you have to keep in mind when you know, there is a non homogeneous population is there from that population we have to take a proper sample proper sampling is to be done when and when we will use the stratified non random sampling method now limitations are there definitely each and every sampling has its own limitations it divides the population into homogeneous that is a require more money time statistical expenses which is a difficult one aplyala mhatte ki aplyala jar huge size population asel tar tyacha vibhagni pahilanda 
आपण स्ट्रॅटामध्ये करतो आणि त्याच्यासाठी ह्यूज मनी आणि कन्व्हिनियंट पाहिजे अँड दॅट एक्सपेन्सेस आर दॅर इम प्रॉपर स्ट्रॅटिफिकेशन लीड्स टू द बायस जर समजा आपण इम प्रॉपर स्ट्रॅटिफिकेशन केलं स्ट्रॅटा जर इम प्रॉपर आपण तयार केला तर पुढं जाऊन दॅट कुड बी द बायस वन मग आपण त्याला न्याय देता येणार नाही अन्याय होऊ शकतो इफ द डिफरंट स्ट्रेटा ओव्हरलॅप सच सॅम्पल विल नॉट बी रिप्रेझेंटेड वन जर प्रत्येक काही डेटा जर ओव्हरलॅप झाला तर काय विल सच सॅम्पल विल नॉट बी रिप्रेझेंटेड वन एकाचं प्रतिनिधित्व करू शकणार नाही सो दीज आर द लिमिटेशन्स ऑफ स्ट्रॅटिफाईड सॅम्पलिंग विथ दिस माय फ्रेंड आय हॅव टू से दॅट थँक यू व्हेरी मच वन्स अगेन आय विल टेल टू यू ॲज आय हॅव टेकन वन ऑफ द एक्झाम्पल ऑफ द कॅल्क्युलेशन्स यू हॅव टू टेक ऑन युअर एक्झाम मेनी एक्झाम्पल्स आर दॅर दॅट एक्झाम्पल्स यू हॅव टू ट्राय टू सॉल्व बाय युजिंग दिस मेथडॉलॉजी दॅट विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टँड दिस टॉपिक व्हॅरी वेल विथ दिस आय हॅव टू से दॅट थँक